Hello, I am Matthew Weinger, and I am here today to help you determine whether or not General Motors' new vehicle poses a threat to humans. So the vehicle they've created is running on and releasing an unknown compound into the atmosphere. So to determine this, we will be using a infrared and nuclear magnetic resonance spectrometers to obtain spectra. And the IR spectrum will be determined by using a thermoscientific Nicolet IS-5 while operating on Omnic software. And in this picture, you can see that the sample will be placed right here by placing it between two salt plates. And then it will take the scans and send the information over to the computer. And this was the spectra that was obtained by the infrared spec spectrometer. And you can see that we have two absorption peaks with a 3,331 and a 2,884. You can then compare it to the table that was in the chemistry lab manual over here. And we can see that we, it is between a 3,500 and 3,100. So we have an OH functional group. And our 2,800 is between 3,010 and 2,800. So we have a CH singly bonded carbon. But then we can see that the only ones that have a OH and CH singly bonded carbon are methanol, ethanol, tbutanol, and 2-propanol. But to completely narrow this down and determine the compound, we will use, we will use NMR techniques. And the NMR spectra will be used by using a variant EM360A NMR spectrometer that uses WIN-P NMR for the interactive software and NUTS for the analyzing software. <coughs> and the sample will be placed in here, and here's a closer look at the inside of it where it will be placed, and it, it will initially begin to spin, and it will take four scans, and the average spectra will be sent to the computer as well, where a printout can be made. <coughs> so the obtained spectra allows us to find the number of peaks and ratio of areas. And this is important because the number of each peak is proportional to the number of hydrogens of that type. So here's just an example of NMR spectra. It is easy to see that we have three peaks with a two to three to three ratio. So here's our um, spectra for the NMR of our unknown compound. And we can see there are three peaks with a one to two to three ratio. And then by comparing it to the known compounds of methanol, ethanol, t-butanol, and t-2-propanol, we can see that ethanol is the only one with a 1 to 2 to 3 ratio. So then this is, um, we use an elimination process to, by using NMR and IR to determine it to be ethanol. And this is the Lewis structure of ethanol, and you can also see that the functional groups here with an OH and a CH singly bonded carbon. And according to the Chemistry 120 lab manual, the more complex the molecule, the more vibrations and hydrogen atoms it will have, and more absorption peaks will be found. So, ethanol is thought to be very eco-friendly, and according to an article by Mark Schwartz, it is promoted as a clean and renewable fuel. So what isn't there to like about ethanol? I mean, it seems very good for the environment, so why not have GM use this in their vehicles? Well, it's the human health effects that is the problem with the vehicle. Um, even at very low levels, ethanol can decrease lung capacity, worsen asthma, and it can impair the body's immune system. So therefore, GM needs to immediately stop making this vehicle because the consequences of the human health effects very much outweigh the benefits of the environmental effects. And those are my references. Thank you. <coughs>